So she only kicked out one egg. Finds the different sizes and you will be successful. Top of the morning, friends and family. That was a close one. Ah, welcome back to the vlog channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys another clutch that's been hatching out. It's crazy, we've had like, this is our third clutch this week. And um, it's actually a female named Sophie. She's an Enchi Lesser Spider and she is a second time producer here at Triple B. Uh, the second female that we have here to have laid her second clutch while here with us. And right here I've got her first offspring that she ever had. If you guys have been following the channel since uh, the beginning, or since I've, especially since I first started breeding, you remember our first clutch had a lot of issues and only one snake actually made it out of the clutch and that was this boy right here who's named Mr. Pink. He is her only baby that she's produced that we have that exists on this planet Earth universe. And he's an awesome snake. Uh, one thing you may not know about him is he's a poshat sunset. He's an inchy lesser poshat sunset male. Will never be going anywhere. Maybe hopefully prove out as a 100% head sunset at some point here, but he'll be here um, his entire life for obvious, obvious reasons. But you can see he is a, he's a beautiful snake. So let's, let's get this clutch out. So there she is, Sophie. A little less weight on her after laying than I would ideally like to see. Um, but you know, weight, producing eggs takes a lot out of a snake. So you know, sometimes they, they always lose weight when they drop the eggs, a ton of weight. But this is just a little bit more than I'd like to see. But um, I'm gonna put her back into a different tub and clean her up real nice so that she hopefully goes right back on food. If you haven't seen the process I go through for doing that, then you can watch, I got previous videos that I put out earlier this year that show the little washing process I do. So she only kicked out one egg, but this is definitely a, a good egg right here. And uh, she's got some other ones in there. They, they look nice. I, I didn't see any slugs, but let's, let's find out what's really going on in here. Come on, mama. I'm gonna take better care of me, I promise. Five eggs, no slugs. That concave belly all the way down. She definitely laid them all. So I went ahead and candled them off video just to get them all upright. If you haven't seen a video of how I candle the eggs, you can watch this one right here. It'll show you my candling process and what I look for to make sure the embryo is on top and all that stuff is in this video right here. I'm running low on toothpicks. This year we're producing twice as many clutches as we have in any previous seasons. This is only our third season. Is that right? Third, no, this is our fourth. I think this is our fourth season. Man, I'm, I'm, I have to go back and look at stuff. in place yeah look at that they're not gonna roll anywhere this is this right here is more than I ever move any clutch that I've got in the incubator it never sees more action than, than that that's like this way more action than I'll, I'll ever see so I'm happy with that looks good they're all gonna stay in one spot they're not gonna roll over most importantly and we're good to go so if you guys watched a video last Friday that I put up you know that I said I wasn't gonna do any more videos on Fridays but I'm, I'm also not gonna be uploading videos on Friday any longer I'm a liar I'm a liar I'm a liar here I am doing a video on a Friday but we had a clutch clutch <laughs> we had a clutch late so I, I wanted to do a video on it where's the end don't you love when you can't find the end of the roll there it is
like it nice and tight. Press and seal. And now we got that clutch put away. I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. One thing being what I attribute my success to as far as having a better season than all the previous seasons and the importance of planning. See, if you've been following this channel from the very beginning, you know that I had this plan to slowly start breeding snakes, you know, raise up hashlings into adults and keep planning along the way for the eventual actual production of babies. And um, a big part of that is making sure I had enough caging. I've got enough caging and enclosures, not just here, but up in quarantine to hold all of these snakes I produce this year in the event that I'm not able to find homes for them. But part of that planning also was having this channel and making an outreach program for myself <laughs> to find people and meet people and be able to find good homes for the snakes that I produce, which that last clutch that we uh, talked about in the last video that I was asking who wants to be on the list for, we already had, we had way more people on the list than there were snakes available. And they're all going to good homes. And now there's people on the list for future clutches so that I'm not sitting here stuck with these babies forever, figuring out, you know, trying to find them homes. Even, even though, even if it, they didn't go to find good homes, they would have a perfectly good home here until they did. And I wouldn't have to rush on getting them out the door or, you know, do any kind of wholesaling or whatnot. That's just my, you know, and I'm not saying that if you don't do it just like me, that you're doing it wrong. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm saying this is the plan that I had made for myself and it's the plan that I've stuck to and that I'm following. And I think that if you want to do something like this, having a plan is very important, a well thought out plan. And even for me, I'm not a plan guy, like five <laughs> weeks in advance. If people have five year plans, that's like, I, no, I'm like five weeks is like a lot for me. Five days is more realistic for me, with the exception of, of what I'm doing here with these snakes. This, is, this has been very well planned, more planned and thought out than anything I've ever done in my entire life. Um, I think it's important because they're living animals and you can't just go into it without a plan and just be like, oh, what do I do now? I've got all these snakes, I can't care for them. That's a bad plan. You need to have a plan for that reason. The other thing I want to talk about is how did I get twice as many clutches this season as I did previous seasons? And I attribute it 100% entirely, not to science, but to cocoa blocks. Cocoa blocks. Cocoa blocks. They come in all kinds of different sizes. It is the best coconut substrate on the market. And I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored by Freedom Breeder. I'm not just saying that because I designed this packaging and that's my snake right there that had the first clutch this season on the packaging. I'm not saying it because of that bias. I'm saying it because I had a dream and God came and spoke to me in that dream and said, Brian, Cocoa Blocks is the key to your success this year. So use Cocoa Blocks, it comes in all kinds of different sizes and you will be successful. So what I'm basically saying is I am Coconut Jesus with slightly less facial hair, but much bigger coconut. It's got these nice fibers in here that really help keep urates from getting to the bottom of the tub. And if you know anything about urates getting stuck to the bottom of a tub or any kind of enclosure, it's the worst part about cleaning up after snakes is having to scrape those urates off of that tub. It sucks. I mean, every other part about keeping snakes I love except for scraping urates off of the enclosure. At that point, I'm just like, everything's fine. And then as soon as that urate scraping time comes along, I'm just like, I'm done. All joking aside, I am the son of God. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna be paying for this. All right, now that I've lost all credibility, I just, I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, I do really like the, the product actually. I like all Freedom Breeders products. That's why I'm sponsored by them. You know, I've had options for other sponsors and I, I just wanna stick with these guys because I know that I can, you know, 100% get behind their products. So, you know, it makes it easy for me. I don't have to BS, even though I make start st stories up about God talking to me in my dreams. Oh man, it's so, so bad. When you put that stuff on the internet, people are gonna hate you, Brian. Also, before we get out of here, I want to give a quick shout out to my boy Ray over at Euphoric Reptiles. This guy's got a great channel. He's a family man like myself and uh, has a real love for his animals and he's uh, working on producing some of his uh, first clutches coming up here. So if you guys go check out his channel, give him a follow, I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this bonus video. I hope it made you laugh a little bit. That was, that was the goal. <laughs>